there's a good look. Fremantle swarming forward. Out. Hatley takes it on, and he might have bitten off a bit too much here. Don't get it anywhere near five. He's too good a one-on-one -on -one player in that five. He's leading the Dockers in disposals, contested possessions, contested marks, and he has put it lace out for Cam McCarthy. Cam McCarthy started at GWS. He's had nine behinds this year, second most in the comp. Don't worry about that one. It's going straight through the middle, and Fremantle kicked the first goal. The Blakely direction, McCarthy's put, pushed up and he's found Griffin Lowe, just his third game of AFL football, this young man. Finding the tempo quickly, the kick not ideal for Kirsten, used the body brilliantly. Now he thinks about going, he does go. Langdon bouncing, steadying and dribbling it through. Frio have got two. We're from Scotch College in Melbourne. Now McDonald's kick, clever ball it was. He spotted Turner What's and was good enough to get it round. There's a little bit of feeling in this one. Fremantle boys come from everywhere and so too the North Melbourne, they're piling in. I think there's a little cheap shot in there too. <laughs> a 50 metre penalty and um, yeah, we might go back and have a look at that as North Melbourne get their first goal. Found uh, Turner. The first game was down there, Vickers Willis, but they've worked this really well. Mason Wood generally does this part of the game pretty well. So Mason Wood back in and he has kicked the goal. And the Kangaroos get their second. Oh, DeMont, too high for Brown, but Cunnington right where he needed to be at the drop of the footy. And hard by foot again. Bradley Hill's been run down from behind. Almost never say that. Lindsay Thomas got him. Just got a total at all the players stopped. I reckon the players stopped there thinking the free kick was going to be awarded as we have a look at it here. The chase down from Lindsay Thomas. But Brad Hill did get his boot to that. North not allowing them to do so. DeMont oh. and what a lead by Garner. One of the great flies. It's an old school hanger. Oh, look at that. Great elevation. Atley gets to the footy first. Keeps the ball low. I think he was looking for Siebel. Maybe Rovat. Rovat, great pickup. Jack Siebel saw down there, Belly, right in front of you. Lindsay Thomas, front centre Garner. Out the back, Turner wanted it. Kick drops a bit short, but he might get in front anyway, and Hill just completely lost sight of it. One for Frio. And a whole bunch for North Melbourne. Whistle, and it's a North Melbourne free kick. Selling the reasoning, Nat Fife not buying it, and Dumont now for seven in a row for North Melbourne. He kicks it dead straight. Thompson just got his kick away though in time. Well done, spinning out of trouble. Williams, although he didn't in the end. Kirsten gathers, Logue again, no mark but the free kick. No, the one you got around him. He wanted that advantage to be paid. He's just going to go back and nail this one. Good night for them tomorrow night. What about right now for their son? First goal in senior football. Griffin Lowe gets Fremantle back on the board. Hanson standing right in the hole, and he's going to kick it straight there. Mm. Hanson or Tarrant take your pick. A late call and a free kick. Well, there's a lot of delay between the whistle being blown and it will be a McCarthy free kick. before the ball is in. Well done. Atley inboard. Turner. Cunnington, hard man to tackle. That's a good effort from Hill. A really good effort. Brought one on to Mundy, missed the target. Might be okay. Five picks it up. Well done, Garner. That is a great tackle. Absolutely nailed five, Richo. Smashed him. Needed to give the first one, didn't he, Richo? Yeah. Here's five. Ibbotson. Interesting. Ball gets to Langdon. And now Gray and Fremantle are breaking. Now Michael Walters back towards goal. It's a downfield free kick. It might actually still be a pretty good professional free kick because Fremantle have been held up. No, they haven't. Bradley Hill, 35 metres out, gets it from Walters and makes it an eight-point ball game again. Um, pretty easy clearance in the end. Here comes Marley Williams. Always goes full chest at the foot. He ran into Hill. Hill picked it up cleanly. Jeez. Oh, he's done a hammy, Stephen Hill. Absolutely done a hamstring. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, yeah. On there. Yeah, he just pulled up, didn't he? 
Marley Williams, the backhander from Williams, taken by Langdon, runs to the pocket, bends it back unselfishly. This is Brady Gray, and he'll take the mark. This has to be the biggest moment in his short six-game AFL career. Brady Gray from the pocket. Nice hit. He has made no mistake straight through. And Fremantle are back to within a point. Ibbotson's clearing kick. Not really a clearing kick. Cunnington. And now the ball. Rovat. Got it. Straightening. Goal. Massive. Monday away and further away through Langdon. Has a bounce. Gets to 50. Oh, what a chase. Brilliant chase. Well done, Marley Williams. Sensational stuff. He's had an enormous last term, Das. 29 disposals. Here's five. Now Lockie Neal. Quiet tonight by his standards. Johnson. Johnson runs in. Kicks the goal. Darcy Tucker, the only inclusion tonight for Fremantle, dumps it long, Thompson goes back, Sheridan down there, front and centre, well on McDonald, back to Kirsten, snaps around the body, bouncing towards goal, Kirsten kicks the goal, and Fremantle are in front. What a game, what a comeback, Fremantle win three in a row, they win by five points. North Melbourne is 0 and 5 for the first time to start a season in 45 years. G'day everyone, we begin today with big news out of Hawthorne. If it's footy news you're after, you'll get it right here on Footy Feed. He was playing with his dog. Really disappointed in my actions. Of course I'm angry. Matt Thompson and Nat Edwards will keep you updated on everything footy you need to know. Nat Edwards has more on this breaking news now. Well, let's make Richmond great again. Footy Feed. It's footy news on afl.com.au.